the soup that saved thousands of children's lives. Mothers of young children still use it today. Ernst Moro, an Austrian pediatrician, provided its recipe at the beginning of the 20th century. He discovered that this soup reduces mortality in children. It consists of only three ingredients, carrots, water, and salt. Peel half a kilogram of carrots. This valuable vegetable contains, among other things, vitamins A, E, C, and K. It also has many valuable minerals, such as potassium, sodium, calcium, iron, magnesium, and zinc. Cut the peeled carrots into pieces. Put them in a pot. Pour one liter of water over them. Cook the carrots for 90 minutes. It was Ernst Morrow who discovered that carrots cooked in this way could save newborns' lives. After cooking, drain the remaining water, then make a puri from the carrots. Our grandmothers use it a potato masher. But a blender will crush the cooked carrots faster and more thoroughly. Fill the drained water to one liter with boiling water and pour it into the carrots. Add three grams of salt. This prepared soup protects children from bacteria. Oligosaccharides contained in carrots prevent bacteria from adhering to the intestinal walls. This prevents diarrhea. Since the discovery of this soup, the mortality rate of children caused by diarrhea has significantly decreased. Such a herring roll disappears from the table in the blink of an eye. Even people who don't like this fish eat it. Place food foil on the cutting board. Lay the sliced beets flat. Place them so that they overlap. There should be no holes or gaps. Then, put five tablespoons of grated beetroot on them. Spread it all over, so that a uniform layer is created. Place the mayonnaise in a pastry bag, spread it all over. Don't add too much so that the roulade doesn't taste too heavy. Prepare four boiled potatoes and three boiled carrots. Grate them on a coarse grater. Transfer them to the roll. Start by laying out the potatoes, then add the carrot. Spread evenly by pressing lightly. Cut the herring pieces into narrow strips. They should not be too large to make it easier to roll the entire dish. Place them along the short side. Garnish with fresh dill. Add to the entire length. Start rolling the prepared roulade. Roll tightly to create layers. Cling film will be very helpful. Once you have wrapped the roulade, secure it with foil and put it in the fridge for three hours. Take the roulade out just before serving. Cut it into pieces. Garnish with mayonnaise and dill. This dish looks beautiful on the Christmas table. The combination of beetroot and herring is delicious. Even people who don't really like the taste of this fish eat it. Recipe for fermented beets that won't mold. The brine is not only a base for making borscht, but also a natural remedy for many ailments. Drinking and eating fermented beets prevent constipation, lower blood pressure, and have anti-cancer properties. To prepare a 1.5 liter jar, you'll need about one kilogram of beets. Choose fresh and firm beets. Wash them thoroughly and peel them. For fermenting the beets, you'll need garlic. Take a head of garlic and crush it with a knife. Then peel the cloves. Place them at the bottom of a large, sterilized jar. Also, add three bay leaves and a few allspice berries to the bottom. Fermented beets also include horseradish. It not only affects the taste, but also benefits the digestive system, stimulating the secretion of digestive juices, improving metabolism, and aiding digestion. Slice it and add it to the jar. Slice the beets into thin slices. This helps the beets ferment faster. I do this while wearing gloves to avoid staining my hands. Add them to the jar, filling it up to the point where the jar narrows at the opening. In a saucepan, pour two liters of water. It doesn't need to be boiled. For each liter of water, add one tablespoon of salt. I recommend using Quadua rock salt for preserving, which is not artificially iodized. It contains its natural minerals and iodine. Stir everything thoroughly until the salt dissolves. Pour the brine into the jar. The brine should cover all the beets. The narrow neck of the jar will help keep them in place, preventing them from floating above the surface. Cover the prepared beets and set them aside for five days. After this time, the brine will be ready. 
Fermented beets help with anemia, support the immune system, aid in rebuilding intestinal bacterial flora, and assist the liver and kidneys. It's best to serve the brine in a glass for a much better taste. It's recommended to drink one shot glass of it daily for your health. Our grandmothers have been using it for years. Recipe for lazy cabbage rolls from the pan. No rolling required. Their preparation will take only 30 minutes. Melt clarified butter in the pan. Then saute finely chopped onions in it. When they turn golden, add white cabbage cut into pieces. Pour in 100 milliliters of broth. Cover with a lid and simmer for 20 minutes. In a large bowl, prepare 500 grams of minced meat. Add 200 grams of cooked rice and sautéed cabbage with onions to it. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Mix everything thoroughly. Shape small patties in your hands. Press them well with your hands. Melt clarified butter in the pan. Then, fry the meat on each side. When it browns, add 400 milliliters of tomato passata. Add 300 milliliters of broth to the sauce. Season with a tablespoon of oregano, salt and pepper. Cover and simmer for 20 minutes. These prepared cabbage rolls taste divine. They don't require the tedious process of rolling in cabbage. They are a great idea for lunch. My family loves them. The most delicious cake with mandarins. It looks amazing, and it tastes even better. You can easily prepare it in a few minutes. Prepare nine mandarins. Wash them thoroughly. Grate the peel of one of them finely. Then, peel the remaining eight mandarins. Remove the peels carefully. Cut each of them in half. Prepare a cake baking pan. Grease it thoroughly. With fat, it can be oil or melted butter. Sprinkle two tablespoons of flour over the prepared dish. Dust the entire surface evenly. Now evenly sprinkle two tablespoons of sugar. It should gently cover the entire bottom of the dish. Arrange the mandarins with the cut side down. It is best to arrange them in equal rows and spaces. For my dish, which has a bottom of about 20 by 30 centimeters, 15 such halves will fit. Place the peeled mandarin, from which you previously grated the peel, into the dish. Add two whole eggs. Add a pinch of salt. Blend the mandarin with eggs into a homogeneous mass. Strain the mass through a sieve into a large bowl to remove mandarin particles. Add the grated mandarin peel. Then add 100 grams of sugar and mix the batter. Pour in 150 grams of vegetable oil. I used sunflower oil. Pour in 150 milliliters of water. Add 220 grams of flour with a tablespoon of baking powder. Mix everything well into a homogeneous mass. Pour the batter over the mandarins so that it spreads evenly over the entire dish. The batter will not completely cover the mandarins. If you use a smaller mold, then the fruits will not be visible after pouring the batter. Place the cake in an oven preheated to 180 degrees for 40 minutes. After baking, turn it out, flipping it upside down. Finally, dust it with powdered sugar, and it's ready. This cake is quick and easy to prepare. It's simple but impressive. It also tastes great to anyone who has tried it at least once.